hello. Today I'm doing a little packing things for a trip. I don't know what this is gonna be about. I'm single on a trip when you see this, I think I'm already home. But I just wanted to show you what I'm packing for this trip. And I'm going to pack some makeup, but it's not going to be that much because I don't think I will wear that much makeup. So I think I'm just going through with you what I'm packing and it's like one out of each. Uh, so we will just see. So we can start with the base things. I don't going to take any primer. I'm going to take this instead. This is a face mousse sunscreen and uh, this is SPF 50. I need this because uh, otherwise I will burn my face. So, and this works so, so good as a makeup primer. So I'm going to take this and this I'm going to use even though I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm going to use it as a primer as well because it's super good. And for base, I'm going to take this one. This is Glossier's Skin Tint I have in G12. I've used this together with the sunscreen a couple of days ago and I was sweaty and it started to rain and this hold up. So I'm going to take this with me as well. I think this is going to be the only foundation thing I will bring. And for concealer I will have this Glossier concealer, the stretch concealer. I don't like this packaging, it's in a little pot like this, but I like the concealer. So this I will take with me as well. And for powder I'm actually bringing two. So I'm going to bring this Nabla pressed powder if I want some more coverage to the skin tint. I'm going to bring this one, I love this as you can see. So this is Nabla's Soothing Close Up Primer. I love this one and it works with like everything. So this is going with me and I'm also going to take this blotting powder from Linda Holberg. This is new to me, I haven't used it that much. It has a little puff here. And I'm just going to take this because I guess it's going to be warm. <laughs> so I can look a little bit less sweaty when I have this on. So can you like close please? So these are the two powders I'm bringing. And then for like chic products, I think I'm going to take this one. I <laughs> really like this. This is the Melt Buskill. It's their Gel Dust Duo Blush. So, can you focus please? So this is a blush and a highlighter. It doesn't look such a big difference between the two. Maybe there you can see the blush color. And there you can see the highlight color good. And I actually really like this. This highlighter is not anything special but I like how it looks and it is the blush is so good I really like it so this I'm going to take with me and I'm also thinking about taking this new cream scent blush in strawberry drip but I'm not sure yet but I think I will take this with me so I think these are like the only two blushes I'm going to bring and the only highlighter I'm going to bring. I might put in, I might take Ozone from Nobla as well, their skin glazing. This is like my favorite highlighter. I love this one. And I think you can see that I've used it. For me it's quite a lot. Hello. So this is Ozone. And I will also bring this skin bronzing from Nabla that is in Ambra. I don't know how much I will use this though, but I will bring it so I have something. I'm going to bring my Milani eyeshadow primer. It isn't that much left in this and I am like surprised how far it has held up. But I'm taking this one. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. And this is like the only one I use. For my eyeshadow, I am going to take two palettes. And this one I'm sure that I will take. This is Lethal Memento palette. 
It's one of the newer six pen palettes. I did use this in Get Red With Me and I really liked how it looked. And I think it's the good lethal quality. And if I want to do something more fun, I can use this. And I like the shimmers, I like the mattes, I can do something like it. I can do something darker. So I will take this one. And I'm also thinking about taking this. The Cutie Palette Nude from Nabla that looks like this. I'm not completely sure though if I want to take this or or if I'm going to take this one, the new one, the analog. But I think this is might too dark, but maybe I should take this instead. We I want something a little bit darker in this one. So maybe I should take these so maybe I should take these two can I get some looks out of this <laughs> I don't know do I missing like a crease shade but do I have any other I could always like build my own little palette from lethal if I want to Maybe I should take this Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop instead. But maybe that is a little bit similar to the one from Lethal because it also has some pink. It would look like this. Is this a good combo to have with me or are they too similar? Like, both of them are a little bit pinkish. Maybe... I should take California Love then. No. I think I will take Sweet Talk actually. I haven't used it this much at all. So I take Sweet Talk and the Memento Palette. I'm actually going to do that. So I take these two palettes for my eyeshadows and I'm going to bring my Vicious Mascara from Lethal because from Lethal from Nabla because this is the mascara I use right now. And then I'm going to take two pens and both of them are from Colourpop. So it is Peach Fuzz and Honey Dude. I really like these two and they work with everything so these two are coming as well and this is what I'm bringing you for my eyebrows so my eyebrow brush my brow mascara and my brow powder from BH Cosmetics I really really do like this one I have it in light blonde I think it is the perfect color for me. So this is for my eyebrows and this I use like every day. So is it maybe just lips left? I know I want to take this one. This is the LH Cosmetics New Infinite Lip Gloss in Mellow Mauve. I really do like this one. I love a lip gloss. I don't know what happened but it is such a nice lip gloss to have on and it has SPF 15. So I think I'm going to use this even though I don't have any other makeup. But then I want a lipstick as well. To be honest, <laughs> when I'm not filming for YouTube and I'm just like at home with my family, most of the time I don't use makeup and if I do I have something really light and neutral. But I know that I want something more than this but I don't know if I want like a red lip. I don't even know. Do I want something warm? Do I want something cold toned? Do I want something... I don't know. Maybe I should take some from Lethal, but I don't know which one. This is Odyssey, because maybe I want something a little bit darker. I want this, but this feels kind of similar to the gloss. Let me just watch this. And these are kind of 
sit in the way, but that is boring. What do I have more? Maybe this one I missed, but this is really dark. Maybe a little bit brown. Like, if you only knew the struggles I have with picking lipstick when I'm at home and doing my makeup, and then when I'm going in away and going to bring <laughs> lipsticks with me. And that is like so much harder. Maybe I should take this one. This is Rome from Lethal. I think this is the one that I use the most from Lethal. Yeah. But this is also pretty similar to Mellow Moth. Maybe. Because this works with like everything I think. So maybe I take this Rome and the Mellow Moth lip gloss. Maybe I want a red, so maybe I should take this lip tonic from Kaleidos in Ambition or, or the new one and the Dahlia, Delilah, Dahlia. I have watched too much NCIS. So this is Ambition, this is really bright red. Like I love this formula. This Delilah. This is a much more cold toned and darker red. But you know what? Maybe I should just take both. So I'm going from not taking any red to taking two reds. I think I do that. So I have two neutrals and two reds. Maybe that is a good combo. And then I'm going to have to take some brushes with me. Do you want to see that? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't even want to see this video base brushes I am bringing these so powder brush two highlighter brushes one blush brush and my contour and bronzing brush and also a puff to set underneath my eyes and then I need to take some eyeshadow brushes but all of them are dirty and I need to clean them so I think I will take these. These are like a lot. So I'm taking some blending brushes, some for just packing on and some underneath my eyes. So I'm going to wash these, wash the face brushes and then I'm good to go. I think that is everything I want to pack with me. I don't think I need any more makeup. I don't even know if I need this much. But yeah, I guess this is what I'm taking. So I guess that was all for this video. I'm also going to pack some face products now, <laughs> some skincare products, but I don't think you want to see that. So yeah, this is what I'm bringing with me. And I hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do, so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!